Welcome back to Like a Dragon Ish, and if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying this one. Chapter 7. Um. I don't know. What am I doing? I think I was doing main quest now. I got more tea. Well, the tea was prepared. I just hadn't started drinking it until now. So I just poured it out. I need healing items. Oh, wait, no. What I wanted to do... Do they sell bait? They don't sell bait. I don't know if they have a bait shop here. Tea smells good though. Oh, man, Udon is great. Eatery. In the middle of town, really. This never happens. Oh my god. I'm just destroying all the merchandise. <laughs> oh no. Orange time. <laughs> this is why I buy oranges. Oh, man. Such a good takedown move. Oh, this dude wants to join me. Sure. Um, well, at this point, I may as well eat. Yes, I. Uh, what have they got? Oh, it's drinking. Oh. Ah, there we go. We'll take the platter. Oh my. Look at that. I guess I have some bait. Alright. I wanted to try the, uh, the ocean fishing. Found this boat, and he just wanted to take me to sea. Uh, to the east coast. We need the singing like an animal crossing. Say classic. What is that? <laughs> we'll see what we can catch first without anything. That is one long ass fish. Is that an it's, I got it's probably an eel. Mm. 
It's not, hmm. Okay, hold on. How to use... What's the worm for then? I want to cook some of the dishes that buff you up a bit more. And they require some of this fish. gonna use it. Whoa! What is that gargantuan thing in the background? see if it gets attracted to it. I think I got it to... It's not far enough. Like, it needs to be just as far as I can get it. I want to see what that big thing is. I just have to be patient. It goes... Whoa. No, come on, take the bait. Is that a... <laughs> That's probably just a tuner or something. Take it! Take the bait! Get to fight a fish. Take it, take it, take it, take it! <laughs> Maybe I need the, uh, because there's a, a rod upgrade that you got. I'll let it pop. Oh. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Holy shit. Caught a fucking shock. Hmm. What am I gonna do with a shock? There's, there's still more gigantic fish in the background.
Jeff again. <laughs> what am I gonna do with these shock? Just throw that back. Hold on. Maybe here. This lets me have tea so I can kick back. Tea's pretty good. I think the bait's one off. Yes, alright. I'll catch a couple more and then we'll go. I was just curious as to what you could get here. Thing. I just I just want to do more of the cooking, but you need fish. I could purchase the fish, but I mean here it, it's giving me more points to be able to spend on personal upgrades. I need to get my sprinting up a bit more, so <laughs> cooking mama. Ugh. I can't believe someone paid someone a thousand dollars to play Cooking Mama. Who's that big of a Cooking Mama fan to do that? <laughs> Not you. Yeah, well, I mean, someone that has a lot of money, it's like, when you have, the term is, when you have fuck off money, like, it's just, what do you spend it on? I mean, I'm sure it's fun, like, I, I know what it is, I've, I've seen it before, and there have been other games that have similar concepts when it comes to cooking. But, you know, I mean, there is only but a certain amount of time I can spend on playing games. So I don't mind checking stuff out, but it's like, are you sure this is what you want me to check out? I don't have to complete it. Yeah, that's not how I work. It's like when I play games, I try to complete the games if possible. Unless I don't enjoy them or they have a ridiculous amount of content where it would, it would take like years to finish it.
I want that big fish. It's not moving. I'll probably get that little one. It seems to be doing circles. It's alright, I can sip more on my tea. Bait. It's right in front of you. Take it. <laughs> take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh, yeah, there it is. I don't think I've ever had flounder. Because the fish here are, are different. I may have. Like, we have a fish called Barramundi here that is pretty damn good. See, I'm not one for fish. I guess that's the other thing. Is like, for me. It's not that I don't like fish, it's fish is something that I'm very, very picky about. It's it's a case of, like, it has to be cooked really, really damn well for me to enjoy it. It's one of those things that's, like, very difficult to master cooking good fish. And very easy to mess up. That's also messy. Um... But, yeah, I mean, I'll have it. It's just, it has to be good. I just, um, when it comes to the white meat stuff, chicken is, is my choice. But I love me some fish tacos, they're great. Go do sushi. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the other time I have fish. But it's not quite the same thing. Or like in a bagel that has salmon. Smoked salmon's great. But I'm talking about, like, I guess, pan-cooked or grilled fish. That's... or I'm more picky. Cooked or raw? Uh, both. Typically raw. It's like salmon. Don't like the raw. Is it a taste thing, or a texture thing, or a concept thing? The straight is, is just the worst. I just can't... Oh, you know what I remembered? We're supposed to be helping the Americans out. Before we do the main quest, I've got to help out the Americans. Um, but before I do that, I should stuck up on heels. The show monsters inside me ruined it for you. Could have a parasite. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Like, if you start to worry about every little minutia that could happen in life that could negatively affect you or kill you or do something like you're just never gonna do anything in life that's the thing is basically everything has some sort of thing where it could potentially get you like for example just barbecued meat you could do if you eat too much of that that could potentially kill you 
Like, there's just so much things. It's more of the case you look at the likelihood of it happening, right? We're talking about a culture that have been eating at that style for so much time, and it's just perfectly fine. This is the case, if you go somewhere dodgy, then yeah, like, for example, I wouldn't do, like, gas station sushi or something, then yeah, you're probably asking for it there. But if you go to, like, a proper Japanese restaurant, nah. It's like... Honestly, some, something equally bad could happen to you at any other restaurant. You could... they could... If you watch Kitchen Nightmares and look at all the stuff where restaurants are being dodgy and just have poor food handling stuff, it's... You have equal of chance of something happen to you at any other restaurant with cooked food. So, it's like, don't, don't worry about it. Don't let it get into your head, because that can happen anywhere. It's like when people talk about Australia, right? Like, they're afraid of visiting Australia because they're afraid of getting murdered by a wild animal. And that's such a stupid mentality, because it's just like, just think of where you live right now and think of the worst possible thing that could happen. Because those are the chances of it happening here. It's just like, you're equally in danger where you live now. Don't, like, let the worst-case scenario paralyze you from trying new things. Or enjoying something, I guess. It's like... Now... There's lots of snakes there. Do you know how many times I've seen a snake that could kill me? In my 30-something years of life on this planet. I have seen a snake that was genuinely like a threat, like, once. And that was because I was eight hours away from civilization in the middle of fucking nowhere. In terms of civilization, where I live, and the cities I've been to, not once. I knew it was a deadly snake, you'd have no clue. But in the area I went to, again, like, listen to me. Eight hours out of civilization, in the middle of fucking nowhere, the population would be zero where I went. If you were to go to where I went, you would have, like, a tour guide with you who would tell you, hey. In fact, we did. <laughs> it's just, the only reason I knew about it was because we just learn about that shit in Australia. But if you were to go to Sydney, you would never- or Melbourne, or Brisbane, you would just- you just wouldn't come across that shit. Ever. It's just... Think of the most dangerous thing that could happen to you where you live currently. That's more likely to happen to you right now, compared to, like, coming across a dangerous animal in Melbourne or Sydney. There was like some stat as well about shark, like shark attacks is you're more likely to get struck by lightning than to get attacked by a shark in, in certain parts of the country. And people are just, uh, they, they just think, oh no, sharks. That, that's a thing in Australia. Yeah, you better be afraid of sharks. Dude, what do you mean? I've never seen one before, ever. Not once. Um, I'm going shopping. I keep going to the marker. So, I mean, that's the thing, is... What kind of sharks are over there? Uh, great white sharks is, like, the primary one. But again, it's just, like... To come across that stuff, you're basically going to the middle of nowhere where there's no people. Or just doing the wrong thing in the first place. I keep forgetting the entry to this is, like, on the side. You had a shark over here. They closed the beach. Yeah. So you've come across a shark. I haven't. I supposedly... I supposedly live in the country where it has dangerous animals. And you've... you've seen a shark. Do you see, do you see what I mean? <laughs> the 
There's like the Australia is nowhere near to the level of people's like fears. You're on an island. I'm like 30 minutes away from the beach. Like the majority of Australia's population lives along the coast. Central Australia is a desert. No one lives there. Our whole country is a massive island. Uh, is that really the biggest heal there is? Appointment, small amount of health, slightly rest I wish it would give you whole numbers, but let's just assume this is like the best heal I can get right now. Do I go to the beach at all? Uh, I haven't been much in the last four or five years. Because, you know, there was the pandemic and just, yeah. But, I mean, growing up, every summer, like, yeah. Constantly. Whenever it was above 30 degrees, it was go to the beach. Growing up, like, yeah, that was the way we stayed cool, because... Air conditioning was a bit of a luxury during the day. We, you know, we would only put it on at night when, you know, it was necessary for sleep. During the day it was go to the beach, or like one of the, uh, the fake lakes. Aren't we all technically on islands? Yeah. But I guess the, the thing about Australia is, like, it's a country that is a continent and an island all at the same time. Because it doesn't share any borders with any other country. Um, it's practically on its own. It's on its own tectonic plate as well. So it's like, we're a continent, we're an island, and we're a country. So it's like a special case for us. Is any, anyone wearing one of these masks just wanting to join me after I beat them up? Is that the gimmick? Who's with this guy? This dude seems to be really strong. He's parrying me. Anyway, I guess all I wanted to get at is like... Just, when it comes to stuff like that, it's, there's always going to be something that could potentially harm you. It's just, you look at it at a case of, how likely is it? Are you putting yourself in a situation where that could happen beyond reasonable doubt, right? Although, there's, there's no point in worrying about that stuff. Because there's so much stuff that could just randomly happen, and it's far worse than the things you're worrying about. Hmm. I got a lot of virtue for that one. gonna have some of my soup. I think that's the key to it. Look at how much the cooked food does in this game compared to... Uh... Compared to the pill, the pill does basically nothing. I feel like I should just cook food. The healing pills do not do much for me. Um, that's the place I need to go to. Oh, 
money makes so yeah. Alright, cons consider this. I'll give you this. Like... When it comes to... The long-term effects of, like... Certain pieces of technology... The generation where we're gonna find out... Whether or not it's really bad... It's, uh, people that are currently, like, the age of... Between age 30 to 40... They're gonna be the first to find out, oh shit, some of the stuff that we use on a daily basis when it comes to, like, technology is actually really bad in the long term. So it's like, should you start worrying about that now and stop using technology, period? Because it could be that bad one day? Or do you, are you just like, well, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, or think about that. It's like some of the studies I've done, they go, yeah, you know, our, our tests show it's not harmful. But it's all short-term stuff, like those tests are based off, so they're like, going, yeah, it's likely it's not going to do anything bad. You're between 30. I say that age group because that's the first age group that, like, started carrying around devices in their pocket with, like, um, that can transmit radio waves and stuff. And, you know, having them so close to their body. And having that on a constant basis. Right? Like, our our age group is, uh, yeah, the first age group to start doing that. So, we'll be the first to kind of find out what the long-term effects of that are, if any. I didn't finish that one. I gotta do that side quest. Where's the American side quest? Right, and the Panthers have challenged me to a race. I probably should have been paying attention to what he said. <laughs> Pioneers. Yeah. If you're ready, let's go. Okay. Oh, that's... It's one of these stupid UIs where, like, the disagree is, like, on top. There we go. Got it. Alright, is this the place? It's awfully quiet. Yes. This is it, alright. And the boy I had on lookout, it's nowhere to be seen. Wait, there are people up ahead. Damn. Boss, I'm sorry. I messed up. Shit. I didn't think it was possible, but it's really you, William Kun. I always thought we killed you along with Simon, but I suppose you slid it away somehow. Don't think we have actually met face to face. I'm the head of the Uriyama Company. I'm a gear. Uh, Kihei? Good to finally put an ugly face to a rotten name, Amagia. <laughs> well, don't worry about remembering it. You'll be dead in a matter of minutes. Zenji! Yes, sir. You, I remember you. I was told that this man died along with his magistrate friend. Why is there a ghost standing in front of me? Must have missed a shot. That's no good. You'll need to take responsibility for that, don't you think? You're yeah, right, sir. I'll take care of it immediately. Excellent. There's nothing more important than wiping your own ass, I always say. So, this is how it ends for you, William Kuhn. A sad story, but I think I'll get over it. Don't act so smug. You bastard. I'll make you pay ten times over for what you did to Saiyamon. Hey, calm down. You need to stay focused, right? Now, now. Aren't you overlooking something? We have this one here under the barrel, as it were. Boss. Worry not. Soon, 
you and him and whoever that one is you brought with you can all depart for the afterlife together. William, I'll take them on. You make sure your man is safe. Hmm, alright. Zenji, was it? Aren't you ashamed to work for someone like this? Huh? The Uriyama company hired you as an assassin, didn't they? Is this why you trained as a gunman? To take money from people like Amagaya? Amagia? Jeez. You don't know anything about me. <laughs> Stranger, you're entirely mistaken. Zenji here isn't some disreputable mercenary I hired. What do you mean? He's been deeply indebted to me for years, you see. All his firearms training has been for my sake. Isn't that so, Zenji? Yes, sir. I mislike people who make faulty assumptions about others. <laughs> oh, well, I'll graciously consider them your last words. Now I have some important business to attend to. This matter will need to be resolved quickly. Zenji, kill them. <laughs> it's nothing personal. This is just all that I can do to atone for my own mistakes. Let's go. <laughs> can I grab the vegetables and use them as weapons? Hang on, let's just get rid of I don't get this guy, he's just gonna keep stabbing me in the back while I attack the main one. Wait, that didn't damage him, he fell over, what do you mean? Okay, no. You're gonna be annoying? Fine. Good shit. Excellent AI. Good AI. I love the part where he's just backing into a wall. <laughs> Okay, I'll get my ass kicked at some point with something that is brutal. This is impossible! Huh? Zenji, get up! You don't have my permission to lose now. I'm sorry, he's too strong. Have you abandoned your little sister then? <laughs> Stand up and kill this one, or I'll sell her off for good. So that's it. Huh? <laughs> I mean, you didn't hear that. You said he was indebted to you. What you really mean is that you have his sister held hostage. So that's why Zenji didn't kill William back then. He could never disobey your orders with a full heart. Or obey, sorry. That kind of doubt would get in the way of anyone's ability to finish off a target. Damn it! You useless little worm! So the man I took for an assassin all this time was just another one of Amagia's victims. I came here thinking I would find the man that killed my brother, but all of it was the head honcho's doing. In that case, if that's the case, Amigia, you're the one who has to pay for Sayamon. Good. Fine then. Pull the trigger, imbecile. You think my death changes anything? The Uriyama company will outlive me. It will outlive everyone. What are you talking about? Aren't you its leader? 
<laughs> this is why everyone says you samurai are such idiots. Businesses don't fall just because people do. Right now, the whole country's up in arms over the Emperor and the Bakufu. But a company is an entity unto itself, a machine. Go on and shoot. The Uriyama will pull back to the shadows once again. We'll only amass more power and gain more capital. Shit. Shit. I ain't gonna kill ya. William reminds you of Indiana Jones. I mean, some of these characters have likenesses to uh, well-known things in uh, pop culture. There was a character in one of the other games that was just straight up Michael Jackson. Huh? Simon once told me the wicked, the more wicked a grip, the more resilient. You gotta dig up the weeds by the root. Otherwise, all you're doing is chopping the tail from a lizard who'll just grow another. William. Amagia, I've been keeping documents of every foul deed the Uriyama Company's pe perpetrated. Transaction histories, names of ships, numbers of ports. I know where you've buried your bodies, boy. What? And I'm fixing to deliver all my paperwork to a magistrate right along with your sorry hide. That'll bring your company down. I can't be hearing this. No! Yeah, Miracle Johnson. That was his name. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle job. It was such a good quest. You had to basically star in the, uh... The music video. Oh, it was so good. Sandy, right? My condolences, but I can't let you walk away from this. Truth is, part of me still can't forgive you. I understand. Shooting you won't do anybody any good, however... It'll just ha leave some girl out there mourning a dead brother, same as I have. I'm through playing with a part in this whole circle of vengeance, so I need you to turn yourself in alongside Amagia. I, I have no right to say this, but thank you. I'm not sure what would have happened back there if not for you, Hajime. Don't mention it. Are you alright? Leaving things to the authorities. I remember something my brother once said to me. Said, I'll take care of the bad guys, no matter what happens, come to me for justice. Revenge doesn't take away from the evils of the world, it only adds to them. If I can do the tiniest bit of good, I will. Those were his words. Hmm, something tells me you didn't need me there to help you keep a cool head. Nah, you flatter me. I'm damn grateful to you, really. Thank you. Glad I could help. So, what are you going to do now? Well, I started this here outfit only to catch the company, but things have been going quite well for us. I've still got plenty of mouths to feed down here. Hmm. This place is open to you too, of course. Swing by any time, Hajime. Alright, I think I will. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on. I'm pouring myself more tea. Uh Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the farm and cook myself some food because it seems like that's just the best way to heal. You know, I mean, there's a lot of parody stuff in this. Like, I don't think they were trying to depict actual Michael Jackson. They just wanted to parody him. So they just parodied the music. There's a bunch of stuff that they parody. So they're starting to appear in town now, huh? Mm. 
And then speaking of like the Gordon Ramsay stuff earlier, <laughs> they are making new episodes of Kitchen Nightmares and I do want to watch it. Gun is IP. Not really. It's just these are just trash enemies. In the normal fight, it really does not do much. You can spam it indefinitely. Yeah, so. I can spam my fist indefinitely. I can spam my sword indefinitely. When I use my fist, I can slam an orange down their throat and take away a third of their HP instantly. Like... I think, I think there are things that are way stronger than the gun. I can't believe that they've given some significance to cooking and farming in this. I, I honestly really like it, because the system that was in place to... Every game has this sort of uh, point system where you're gaining points from doing certain things, and then you can spend them on upgrading him Use. sort of indirectly, instead of skill points. Use. But the, the tasks are usually tedious. This is the Use. first time where I'm finding myself like I'm probably going to get everything from this system. Um, okay. Reputation, trooper squad level, inventory capacity. Definitely want that. No, this game has, I think, had the best mini games of the series so far. Pretty sure that's what it means. Okay, that worked. Let's see if I can make anything new. Power Stew needs hot pepper. I'm missing hot pepper. Um. But I can make some of these other ones now that I have some of the fish. I just need to plant different vegetables, I think. Like, we got enough carrot. I might swap it out. Why don't I have an egg? That was weird. I got chickens. I need to find out how the eggs work in this game. Anyway, uh, let's make some soup. Probably the closest I've got on it. Cook. 
この味誰も真似できねえぜ<音楽>さて作るかおっはいやっうんおよしこいうんやってい,おっ、うん、やってい,いよしよしやるぞ、うん、See, now that I figured that food does the most, I have to. Oh, that was almost perfect. I have to ask myself, like, what am I going to do with the money I have? Because I'm not spending it on, on healing things anymore. <laughs> I think the, the 101 is probably the closest I'm going to get. I've got a 99 and I've got a 101. I've been on either side of being perfect. Alright, um, that should fill up my... Oh no, wait, i got way more space now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry, this is gonna be a bit of a process, but it's just the best healing items I can get. Um, they're from here, so... Oh damn, that was perfect. That was not. <laughs> that was bad. Dude, come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Twice! Just give me the hundred! <laughs> how, how have I not gotten it?
Okay. Finally. I've gotten really good at the pouring. I don't know if it affected the outcome though. It's still premium. I have enough healing for now. Um, I'm gonna swap over what I'm planting. I think carrots are, are all good. I'll have a look at what I have the most of. And then swap it out. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Where are the ingredients? Ah, produce. Okay, cucumber can go. Carrot can no cucumber can go sweet potato can go those two okay. so now we have a lot of space uh, I'm gonna try and grow garlic Garlic, oh yes! Oh, it's a 4x4. Four four. Uh... <laughs> they are pretty big. I can do this. But look at garlic. I'll put another potato. Unless there's something else. Two by two. Turnips are one by one. One by two. Potato, one by three. One by two. Chili's a three by three. Yeah, just another, just another potato. Okay. No fertilizer. All right. That's all set. Uh, I mean, I think it's just the planting area. I don't know if the crops will do bigger. Gigantic garlic sounds good, though. Virtue cultivation allows you to get more virtue, reduce virtue, slow down. Reputation increase, reputation increase. How do the chickens work? Oh no, there we go. That's it. That's it, I have one egg. <laughs> I've had chickens for such a long time and only now they give me an egg. Okay. Um, anyway.
over here. Oh, that's it. <laughs> now I have enough for the coupe because I have become super friends with the, the cab drivers. What the fuck? What happened here? Uh, I should eat. That's probably, uh, yeah, a bit much. Hang on. What else have we got? General goods. I think we've eaten here before. Yes, I see. Ah, yeah, the the triplets. Ugh, damn it! I'll just eat it. I'm gonna be lazy. What else am I gonna spend this money on? <laughs> I have almost fifty prize tickets. <sighs> Should I spend? The, the problem is, it takes so long to draw a prize out, and every single I tried, what like twelve of them, and I didn't get anything. <gasps> ah, the lucky man with a bento made it care by his loving wife. Looks like he's still here. Should I share my food with him? The soup. Yeah, I have more today. Want to eat together? Yes, of course. I wonder what's in this one. Ah, Bento made me care by a loving wife. What a delight. Um, I'm sorry that I made things weird last time. No man would want to introduce his precious wife to some stranger who's been eating her food. I spoke without thinking. Please, tell me what we can do to put this behind us. Seems like he's really down about this. It almost make, makes me think that it might be better for him to know the truth. It was me. Mm -hmm. Huh? What was that? I made the bento. Mm -hmm. Huh? I don't understand. Every bento we've shared... I made them all. It was me. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the whole story? All this time you never had a wife? I'm sorry. You just seem so taken with the dream of homemade bento. It's alright. I am so surprised though. I can't believe you were that concerned about me. Listen, the bento you made, it's undeniable that love and care went into each one. To think you kept making such incredible meals and coming here to share them with me. Hmm. How do you know I just didn't pity you? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I know what pity tastes like, friend, and it's not like that. What I'm trying to say is, even if one of us is married, I'm okay with it. Hmm. Okay with what exactly? I want to show you the same love you've shown me. What are you trying to say? <laughs> that I'm going to cook for you, of course. Okay. Is he for real? I hope you can taste the love inside. Enjoy. Manly love bento. A bento made with love from me to you. I can't see how much it heals, but... 
<laughs> Wait, what's this? Hang on, there's an exclamation mark over here. Oh, the race. The race, 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 the race. Got it. Ah, it's about time. I was beginning to think you were too scared to come. Uh -huh. Sending a letter to my home? Is that how couriers do things? I had to be very clear about where we'll compete. This is an area I know quite well. If you're only willing to race on your home turf, maybe you're the one who's scared. Tell yourself that. The fact is, I'm the playmaker. I'll do anything that improves my chances of victory. I studied every move you made against these two. I know all your tricks. And after calculating our race down to the finest detail, I determine you have no chance of beating me. This is going to sound even more hilarious when you lose. That's a statistical impossibility. My strategies always work. Come on, I'll prove it to you. Alright. I probably should have improved my sprinting before attempting this. Shit, he's in the lead. Alright, I'm doing it this way. I do it my way. The problem is I can't see the map, like, at full. I'm not sure where it wants me to go. Oh, this may have been bad, chat. This may have been bad. thing is, he's going to hit some very quickly, but I've got him the one that was furthest away already. He's going for he's going for the finale. Oh shit. He beat me. <laughs> All right. Well, mini game failed. Do I get to try again? What happened? You underperformed by an abnormal amount. No, no, that can't be right. My data says you should have lost by much less. Do it again! Ugh. Alright. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh no, but see, this time...
I got it. All right. It's <laughs> enough of that bit. <laughs> it's done. This, this guy be my calculations. No way. He even beat Inamoto son. This Saito guy is unreal. Explain yourself this instant. Chief, I, I must have made a mistake. I'm sorry. Not only must I watch you lose in disgrace, I'm to hear your pitiful excuses again as well. You're fired. Get out of my sight. But we've worked together for so long, I've been with the Panthers since the beginning. Go drown that sentimental rubbish in the karma. Hoshi, Mikino, you're both fired as well. You're all disgraces. Huh? Just like that? You impress me, Saito-san. How I wish you had accepted my offer to join us. The next race will be your last. I vow we will leave you in utter shambles. Ah! Ah! The Black Panther couriers are the fastest in Kyo. I'm already utter shambles. What do you mean? Are you alright? I think so. Our company has no room for the slow. I knew that. But I, ne I still never believed she'd really fire me. Why is Hirakawa so obsessed with being the fastest in Kyo? She wasn't always like this, really. Everything changed after her husband's death. Her husband? That's right. Hirakawa-san was the one who originally founded the Black Panther Kuri as our boss. He was a legend in our industry. His feet earned him the title of fastest in Kyo. Hmm. The Panthers inherited that reputation from him. Once we formed a team. We had good customer service too back then. It wasn't long before we were the top couriers in the city. And the chief. She always looked so happy. I wanted those days to last forever. They couldn't though. Not after the boss was killed. He was killed? Yeah. Yeah. There was a rookie on the team. He got sent out on a delivery to this famous bloodthirsty samurai, but he was slow. When he arrived late, the samurai was furious. He attacked the kid with his sword and the boss jumped in to defend him. So, Hirakawa thinks that if the delivery hadn't been late, her husband would still be alive. Ever since then, things have been different. She fired everyone who was too slow on their feet. All she cared about was preserving the image that the boss had. Fastest and Kyo. Of course, once we started ignoring every other aspect of customer service, our reputation fell. So the chief came up with the idea of challenging other couriers and shaming them out of the market. That's why you started racing competitors? Understand, the Black Panther couriers are the one memento she has of the boss. She'll do anything to protect his legacy. Saito-san, I have to ask you a favor. What is it? Please help our chief. I know that deep down she's suffering. Being the fastest in Kyo is no longer a source of pride. It's become a nightmare haunting her. So I need you once and for all to crush the Black Panther couriers. This is really what you want. This area is where I used to beg. The chief found me starving here one day and she saved me. I'd never met anyone so kind. I thought I was repaying her, keeping the Panthers fast. Losing to you made me realize I was wrong. I want the old chief back. What about you two? Inamoto's right, I want her back too. Please, Saito-san. For all of us. I understand. If you can beat... Takeda, the Panthers will collapse. There's no one faster than him. To this day, he's the only one whose feet could reach the same speed as the bosses. Maybe the chief sees him lose as well. She might finally wake up from this nightmare. Takeda-san will be near Uji River in Fushimi. We're counting on you, Sa Saito-san. Okay, 
and stun. Uh, hold up. Okay, so the shrine near the barracks. Let's go there. Since we have to go there for main quest anyway. I think, um, how far am I? Hold up. Oh, the letter of challenge. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm getting there when it comes to the side stories. that I forget what that meant that usually meant something in the other games we see like a ping I should purchase rice I just get the feeling there's going to be a special attack involving, like, shoving rice down someone's throat. Oh yeah, the kid with the vegetables. Okay, I mean, I'm not reading it because he says the same thing every time. Um, we have sweet potato. Plenty of that. Oh, one of my favorites! Yay! Veggie time! This kid just eats these vegetables raw. Was it good? Yeah, it's so good. I want to keep eating, but I gotta eat at home too, so I should stop now. Smart move. Thanks again, mister. I don't think you can eat a... You love raw vegetables. There's some that are very good, like... Broccoli is one of them that I feel like requires minimal cooking. Like, carrots are fine, right? But there's some that you just can't eat raw, like a potato. Eating a raw potato is just, no. Or a, or just, like... <laughs> a raw, taking a bite out of an onion. Like, who the fuck would do that? I'll tell you who would do that. The leader of our country at one point went to a farm on a, just a visit. And, uh... He bit into a whole onion. Skin on, you know, just... He realized his mistake. And just kept chewing like, oh yeah, this is good. And you could see the anguish, like, oh, I've made a mistake. Damn it! Hikuri san. <laughs> is this the human shaped thumb knuckle dumb or what? All the fight went out of him the moment we threatened the girl. You always tick me off, you know. You talk all proper, but you look like the inside of a musk melon. Do with me what you will. Just unhand Suzu-san. You really think I care about your pimply ass? I'm here to teach her. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. What? I am a gift. And she's a horse. You're all horses next to me. Look. Everybody shut up so I can think. I say... We make her watch while we kill him. Ikesugi san, you're horrible. Horribly beautiful, you mean? That was a good one. Okay, I'm tired of talking now. Let's do this. Okay. Ah! Sir Saito. What the? Nobody attacks my midgen minions. You want to die here too? Midgens. <laughs> 
You're the living proof that a handsome face can't hide a monstrous soul. <sighs> what was that? You saying my soul isn't fuckable? Oh my god. <laughs> you saying my soul isn't fuckable? Wow. Agree. Look after Suzu. I will. Thank you. Posse up. Let's bury our sword in this guy's mediocre abs. I'm I'm fairly certain that was not um a good translation right there. Some people are into monsters. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> no matter how many times I see it, it still gets me. Alright, I want to see if, like, maybe we get a special for... Doesn't look like there's a food special for rice. I need to buy more oranges. This, this is bullshit! I'm out of here! What now? That's him. Ah! Uh. Uh, get out of my way! You're making... You walking vomit chunk. Jeez. All my life I've envied those blessed by the auspicious gods of beauty, yet... Where such charms, where look, where such, I can't read this guy. Yet look where such charms led you. What are you babbling about now? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, there's not much left to you after the beating you took anyway. Even I can finish you off. Ikasiga, you shall find no quarter from me, not after hurting the woman I love. Curie, son. Die, Curie, No. Why? Once again, I have cut a worthless object. <laughs> you made taking Ikasugi down look easy, even with your injuries. But I guess love can do that to a man. Sir Saito, I beseech you. Mock me not. Aguri san. Ah, Suzu san. I, uh, I hope you're not hurt. No, I'm fine. But about what you said. Huh? Huh? I think it was something like there'll be a quarter for hurting the woman I love. <laughs> Aguri san, do you think you could say that again to my face this time? Believe in yourself, Aguri. Suzu san. Uh, I. I love you. I'd give anything to go out with you if you'll have me. I would be happy to. Eh? Hey. Ah? You will? Really? Even though I'm ugly and uh, a dork? <laughs> You're not a dork, Aguri san. I mean, 
A little, but that's not what's important. It's what's inside that matters after all. See you, son. Good for you, Aguri. <laughs> Why do I do shit like that? Jeez. Hey, calm down. <laughs> I didn't do anything. You just needed a little confidence. Good luck to the both of you. Modesty is an ill reward for your valorous deeds. So have this more befits your honor. Guyon? Oh, that might be useful. I haven't looked at my equipment in a while. I'm pouring myself more tea. Yeah, I mean. Hold on, I wonder if Veggie Kid is, is outside again. I went to this, this uh, restaurant recently, and I, they made this beef dish. The beef was so damn good, but it had uh, broccoli with it, and the broccoli was, like, the best I've ever had. It was just, like, top tier. I don't know what they did, but it was, like, minimal cook, and it was just so so well done. I don't have to read now. Broccoli is your favorite veg. It's up there for me. As a kid, I didn't like it, but I think it's because my mom, when she would make it, uh, at least until I was a teenager, it was more just like... It was in a soup setting, so that it was always like soft and cooked. Or... Yeah, I guess it was overcooked, and then when I started eating, um, stuff outside of home, like, Asian-style broccoli, man, that stuff is just so good. Raw broccoli is good with ranch dressing. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm just laughing at, like, of course. Of course. Just the ranch dressing part is every American has to say, it's good with ranch dressing. It's like, yes, I, I get it. Ranch dressing is great. Uh, we don't have ranch dressing here, really. Like, it's kind of hard to find. You can find it. That was the snack. That's a good snack. Did I like it? It's, it's good, but like... <laughs> I, I, I can have other things. I wouldn't say it would be, like, my go-to every time, but it's decent. Ranch dressing is good with ranch dressing, I bet. Blue's cheese dressing is good with raw vegetables. Yeah, they usually do them with wings and, like, celery. Just to cool down, like, any sort of hot sauce you use on the wings. But blue cheese is an acquired taste, though. Some people hate the smell and the taste. Yeah. 
That, like putting it on your wings, you like to feel the burn of the hot sauce. The same, yeah. If I'm gonna have hot wings, I have nothing to like cool that shit down. It's just like, nah, gotta. That's why you have it. You're like defeating the purpose of it. I'm the, I'm the same with coffee, like, I'm very pure when it comes to coffee as well. Because it's like, if you're doing anything to the coffee, then you're just bypassing the flavor of the coffee. It's the same with spicy foods, it's like, not nah, you gotta experience it, how it is, in its purest form. I mean, dressing for carrots and celery, it's, it's fine. Like, I'd probably do the same thing. Do you know, one thing I did do, um, that was pretty good. You get, like, avocado, you get cream cheese, you mash it and you mix it. And then you add a little bit of, uh, a little bit of lime into it. And then you dip, like, carrots and celery into that. It's pretty good. It's like a good mayonnaise substitute. See, I knew this guy was fine. I knew he kind of had an ulterior motive for being here, but... Yeah, like... That does sound good. It's... Yeah, try it. I recommend it. It's good to use, um, on a sandwich with, like, if you're into having fish. It's good with fish as well. So if you want a good tuna sandwich, just use that. トンショにも一応近藤さんの部屋があるんやで。局長の部屋どこのことだ。トンショの一番奥の前へ。せやけど行っても誰もおらんやろうけどな。どこで手に入れんだ。あんなの大しもの部屋。I kind of figured this guy was like Yeah, I mean He's suspicious of us, but he's letting it slide. He's kind of like one of those dudes that's just like, does things by a code. Code and coded ethics and loyalty, I guess. So, I don't know if I'm going to get a little bit of a little bit of Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The chief's unavailable, huh? How can I get in contact with Kondo? Maybe there's someone close to him that I can also help. Hmm, you mean the guy that we just talked to? I guess not, because the quest marker is not pointing in that direction. This is Hijikata's room. The deputy chief might be able to help me. Alright, I'll try asking him. Oh. 
一度局長に会ってみたいと思ってな隊長になったというのに挨拶すらできていない会ってどうする別にどうこうするって話じゃない近藤さんは多忙なお方だまあいずれ会える日も来るだろうもうしばらく機会を待つんだないつまで待てばいいんだ随分近藤さんに興味があるようだなそれが何か問題あるのか大終わりだあの方と気安く会えると考えられては困る局長は新選組の主君と思え君も新選組に入った以上はな分かったらもう行け I'll see someone else I can ask. You know, for a sec there, I thought something was wrong here. Like they're playing strip poker, but then I realized no, it's probably not the case. Okay, no, I was right to have that curiosity. そんな。何や、はじめちゃん。何黙ってんねん。いや。悪いが局長を探している。どこに行けば会えるんだ。さあな。知らんはそんなもん。ああ、気が散るで。夜が済んだらさっさと行け。Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> I suck at this. I played this in one of the other games. I, I spent an hour trying to beat it. It's it, it was it was such a, it was such a waste of time. <laughs> okay, good. The worst part about it was Later, I found an item that is... They put it in the game specifically for... For people that don't know how this game works. Because it's, it's a Japanese... I don't think it's a Japanese game. It's like... It's a game that's played a lot in Southeast Asia. And so... Of course, I don't know the rules. And they put this item in the game that lets you instantly win. And I found it later and just... Uh, I hated it. I hated it. I spent an hour trying to beat the game, trying to understand it, and it was just an item that would just let me win, just to skip it for the quest's sake. Never again. What? You're Sakamoto Ryoma. Right, there's another guy that's going by our name. Yeah, I don't know his name.坂本は土佐藩の勤王使者竹地半平太の作った土佐勤王党のヒットを一年前に藩の賛成吉田東洋を暗殺して土佐を脱藩したこの坂本龍馬をお前に探ってきてもらいたいなんで俺なんだ不
その船で長崎から密かにイギリスの武器を買い付けているらしいトマス・グラバーって武器商人と通じてなイギリスの武器をどういうことなんだ<笑>局長はそいつを探れと言っているまずは薩摩藩邸へ行け坂本龍馬は勝林太郎と一緒に薩摩の西郷吉之助を訪ねたってことだその西郷に話を聞くのがまずお前のやるべき仕事だな西郷吉之助か Someone's posing as us, why? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. What's going on here? Someone's using my name. Why? And why the hell did Kondo single me out for this? Maybe Nakaoka might know something. I should go back to Teradari and talk to him first. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's any other side quests that are outstanding. Let's have a look. Uh, uh. Didn't we have to challenge her to a race again? Hang on. Apparently, there's one more side quest in the uh, the brothel district. Um, there's one more side quest here. Yeah, that's interesting. It doesn't talk about. All right, I guess we'll run into it later. Naturally, I might take a walk down that district for a bit. Because sometimes you just walk there and it pops up. I'll just take a cab there. <laughs> I already beat the minigame, I don't have to, I don't have to do it again. Wait, what are these blue buildings? Story related? Okay. But you can't go in them, can you? But you can't go in there. Okay. Unless there's some, I don't think there's anything new to do here. Like, I've, I've beat it once. That's just a restaurant. Okay. It's possible that it'll unlock later. It was, oh, that's just another ticket. Alright, I mean, I had a look. No exclamation marks on the map. It's probably I just need to progress the story a bit more. And then we'll get new sub stories. Where are we going? Going back home. Yep. Alright, so I'll take a cab there. I just don't want to go past that alley and fight three times. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, we want to go back. I thought these were quests, but it's just some standard thing. What is this? There's a combat arena somewhere in town. Apparently it attracts highly skilled swordsmen from all over the country to the point where duels are happening every day. Oh, you know what? The crime town I haven't really been to. Ah, uh, it's you. Please. Can you spare more fish? Hmm, your wife's still on your case? Unfortunately, yes. When I brought that fish home last time, she wrote it off as a fluke. Of course, it was just the fish you'd given me, which frankly makes it even worse. Please, can you spare more fish? Just until my wife's confident in me? Alright. Uh, <laughs> take home the tiny fish. What if I give him- no, I'm not gonna give him- I'm not going to give him one of my sharks. I earned those sharks. Uh, you can have a cup. Ooh, got us a lively one. Okay, this should do the trick. I'm sure she'll believe in my fishing skills this time. Can't thank you enough. <laughs> ah, it's okay, the son. You really know how to get everything right where it's going. Amazing deliveries today, it's okay, the son. I can't wait to have you fill up my post box. Big package, fans, girls. Heh. You two are pretty cute. Why don't we all go somewhere for a bit of shipping and handling? Oh, ugh. That's Takeda, the Black Panther's lady killer. Hey, remember me? Hmm, yeah, of course, uh, what was it again? Cybo? Huh? Hey, whoever you are, stop bothering Takeda-san. Huh? Yeah, stop bothering Takeda-san, whoever you are. Hmm, it's coming back to me. Ah, right, you're in the gambling then, don't you? Try again. <laughs> I'm screwing with you, Saito-san. You think I wouldn't know the guy that's been dismantling my whole team? Things have changed. It's time for you and me to finish this. You don't say. Alright, let's do it, kid. Wait, give a man a fish he'll eat for a day. Now, I hope you're talking about the dude that I gave the fish for. Unless you're talking about this situation here. I, I don't know. I Give a man a fish. Who's handing the fish in this situation? I hate to make the ladies wait, but sooner or later they always got to learn. I'm a courier, not a marrier. Ah, we get to watch the Cadus on race. I'll be sure to admire your male physique. Good luck to Cadus on. Win and I'll let you lick me like an envelope. I mean, damn, that, that's, that's pretty fucking direct, huh? To be honest, it's kind of hard to focus with them here. You think? Crowds are what get me fired up on this job. Look, here comes another beautiful spectator. Hmm? Hey, Saito-san, hi. I didn't know he was your type. Not him! Hey, loser, skedaddle! Yeah. Oh, me. Sorry. Hirakawa. Surely you knew I would come, Saito-san. To witness your defeat for myself. 
If I win, the Black Panther careers have no more right to claim they're the fastest in Kyo. Yes, that would be so. However, you'll never outrun Takeda Kun. Sorry. He's the only man as fast as my husband. Now, Takeda Kun, crush this insect. Secure the Panther's legacy once and for all. Of course, Hirakawa chan. I expect a bonus for winning, though. Got a big sake tab I need to pay off. Haha. <laughs> Let's do this, Saito-san. Sooner I beat you, sooner I can visit my local post. Good lord. <laughs> local post orifice. Local post orifice. Local post orifice. All right. This dude's quick. This one's gonna be about strategy, I think. The chase music. Uh, I mean, I have to lo I have to load it up and open it. It takes a minute. It's all right. Just enjoy enjoy it when it happens. <laughs> it's not gonna be every time. It's just say so sexy number six. I'm up to eight. He's only up to six. He's already lost. What a dickhead. Ooh, maybe not. He's on ten. All right, there we go. Chat, did he just say, no hard feelings, kid, not in that way? I saw that pop up. Hey, thank you. All right, that's everything I had to deliver. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> this is what they call a climax. Holy heck. He won. Saito-san defeated all the Black Panther couriers. No, it's not possible. Ever since my husband, we've been the fastest in Kyo. Dear, forgive me, forgive me. Couldn't protect your legacy. Hirakawa-chan. Hey, Hirakawa-chan. I think it's time to call it a day. What? I can't bear to see you like this anymore. As long as the Panthers keep going, you'll never be free of the burden of being the fastest in Kyo. So I say we pack it in. But what will I do? I've lost my husband. If I lose my company, I'll have nothing. You'll have us, right guys? Hmm. We'll always be there for you, Chief. This was never about us being the fastest delivery man for us. Jeez, I can't I couldn't read that. This was never about being the fastest delivery man for us. All we wanted was to make you happy. Boys. The boss never would have wanted you to suffer like this. You mattered more to him than the company ever did. I say we make a new company. The kind of career service that has always Remember to put its customers first. How about the Hirakawa Post? Takeda-kun, all of you. Thank you. 
Don't cry, Chief. Your tears shouldn't run. We'll take care of that. Haha. <laughs> Maybe that could be our new slogan. It's a good thing, isn't it, Saito-san? Yeah. I think Hirokawa's husband would be happy too. Saito-san, from all of us, consider it an apology and a thank you. Great serpent skin. I have to ask, did you all lose to me on purpose? Eh? I'm no courier, and by losing it seems you were able to come together and get what you really wanted. Yeah, interesting theory. But hey, what's done is done. All well that ends well, right? Huh. It's been too long since we've seen her smile. She's beautiful and she laughs, isn't she? Yeah. She is. Thank you, Saito-san. I hope to see you around again someday. Hmm, I expect you to make the Hirokawa Post a service to be proud of. You got my word on that. Why the fuck did his demeanor just completely change? Like, just a few seconds before this ended, he was just making dick jokes the whole time. That's it. Feel to be the fastest man in all of Kyo. You work up a thirst? I'll join you for a drink if you're buying. That's all right. Fine, well, we'll split it. Twist my arm, why don't you? You already twisted my ankle, after all. In return, you help me deliver... You help me with more deliveries in the future. I don't think so. Oh, come on. Oh, Saito-san. If you're out for a drink, I'll come along. Who's this guy? Haha, <laughs> never mind that. I'm thirsty. Yeah, like... He was using every opportunity just to drop innuendo, and then all of a sudden... Just nice guy? I don't buy it. Okay. Ore no nisemono ga arawaretarashi. Ha? Soitsu Sakamoto Ryoma o nanotte igirisu sei no buki o kaizukete iru. Bakushin no Katsu Rintaro no monjin de今日の薩摩藩邸に現れた。お前待てって。何がどうなってんだ。俺にもわからねえ。だがその坂本龍馬を新選組が探し始めている。お前の耳には何か入ってねえか。もう一人の坂本龍馬のことが。よし、知るわ
薩摩は日本の橋で300年幕府の命かすめて力溜め込んできた藩だ異国との密貿易でなそれで幕府でさえ薩摩が勤労の倒幕派に回らないよう気使ってるその薩摩の鍵を握ってるのが西郷岸之助ってわけだ連中は秘密主義で身内しか信用してないなるほど今のところ薩摩は幕府と一緒になって勤労派の長州を今日から追い落としてる長州はそんな薩摩に恨み骨髄だそのくせ薩摩は裏じゃ幕府を倒して勤労牛耳郎と画策してるってわざよ I honestly have no idea how this is gonna end I mean まったくさ My protection was the brother. But now we're like, there's this fake version of us. I don't know. Kenyan-no-naka-te-yatsuka. そいつがお前にどう関わってくるのか、俺たちは知る必要がある。頼んだ。用心しろよ。ああ。Okay. Wait, it still says that. What does it say? Saga at the consulate. All right. Nakaoka didn't know about the other Sakamoto Ryoma. I'd like to go along with Kondo's plan and talk to Saga directly at the Satsuma consulate. Uh, okay. It's like big building. Right next to the taxi. Perfect. Oh, yeah, wait. Before we go. Ah, oh, it's you. Please, can you spare a couple more fish? Your wife's still on your case, huh? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, yeah, it's the same text. All right. The thing is, I don't know if I could teach this guy to fish. Um, you know what? How about we get this out of the way? Because all it requires is like, just... It just requires this, and it's, it's, mi it's minor. Like he'll be back here already, yep. Oh, hold on. All right. How's it going? Think your wife will let you keep fishing? Sure do. And it's all because of you. Nice. She said if I can catch a fish this time, she'll finally admit I've got what it takes and let me keep at it. Doesn't seem like she's going to let this go anytime soon. There's the truth. Nevertheless, I'm sure this will be the last time. Do you have any fish to spare? But he's just like he's just gonna go back to be, being unable to catch fish, and then he's he's screwed. Like I get it, this is supposed to be the moral of the story. It would have been nice to convince the missus with a fish of my own. Oh, my apologies. Not right of me to say that after all you've done for me. No, I don't mind. I'm still a fisherman. Hopefully, one day I'll be able to prove it. See you around. I don't know, man. I, be I, I believe in, in following what you want to do. I do. It's just, if you're no good at it, and it's like causing, in this case, it's causing the family a lot of financial stress because he's unable to do the task properly, it, it might be time to reconsider. Focus, focus. How's it going? They're biting today. Nah, not even a little. Oh, right, I, I should tell you, thanks to you, my wife's given me the okay to keep on fishing. Glad to hear it. Yeah, you've really helped me out. I'm still trying to catch some of my own to take home, for her sake, you know. 
Alas, it's not all that easy. How long have you been a fisherman, exactly? <laughs> I'd say five years, give or take. Dude, five, five years? And he hasn't caught a thing? Do something else! Five? You've been fishing for five years and never landed a single fish? Embarrassing, I know. Don't you think it's a little weird that you've caught nothing at all this time? Maybe there's some kind of issue. Ha! <laughs> Maybe I don't have the talent for it. I think this goes beyond talent. What do you use for bait? Huh? Bait? Yeah. For the fish? Green onions. Well, there's your problem. Huh? An older fella I knew a long time ago told me green onions are the key to any diet, so I've been using them for the fish. Son of a... The old goat tricked me. No. I don't think he tricked you. Here. I can teach you how to fish properly. Oh, uh, sure. I see. So small shrimp and squid over green onions, huh? You've got to use fish food. I just don't get how you didn't realize that sooner. Well, I put a lot of trust in this old timer, so... Damn it! That conniving little... I want my five years back! This guy's a moron. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no other way to put it. How can he call himself a fisherman exactly? He should just call himself a moron. That's Because that's what he is. Mm. Oh, looks like you got a bite already. Mm. Huh? Oh, you're right. The rod, it's twitching. What do I do? Yank it. Mm. Yank? Yank what? And you call yourself a fisherman? First, pull your rod up, then... No common sense. Yep. I caught one! All this time I finally caught one! This has never happened before. Oh, what a joy! I'm more surprised you've been fishing with green onions the last five years. Well, thanks to you, it looks like I'll get to keep on fishing, and I can do it myself now, too. My wife's just gonna be thrilled that all the meals we'll get to eat. Why? Think about it. Puts me over the moon. Ugh, jeez. I had, like, this weird burp there. Ugh. Or I, I was just so sick because this guy <laughs> just made me feel sick. Ugh. Ugh. Glad to hear it. You might want to learn more about fishing from now on. Like, just listening to this guy's bullshit made me sick. You're absolutely right. I won't be fooled by any more tricks from some scheming old man. That swindler. Yeah, I really don't think he was trying to trick. Well, either way, I finally know the thrill of the catch. I gotta say, I feel like I've come to love fishing even more. And, uh, with that, thank you so much. Okay. Got that out of the way. The definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Hold on. Did I finish this? No, we got one more. Ah, boy, there you are. Hey, you're looking good. How's your back been? Never felt better. I've been chopping like a damn teenager again. Or, uh, that would be the case. Hmm? What's wrong? Fast budget doctor put me on timeout. Says I gotta keep my chopping in check so I don't wear myself out again. I had to say it, but my days of chopping dawn to dust really might be at an end. It happens to everyone who's lucky enough to live so long. You can stand to work a little less. Boy. Every log I have, I leave unsplit could be the log that warms a family through the darkest of night of winter. The folk around here cat on me. Hmm. If only there was some strong, capable, willing to pitch in every once in a while. Someone who knows his blade from his handle. Someone who has the best interests of his town at heart? <sighs> if 
Fine. I don't mind helping you out some more. Wahoo! Yeah! Thank you, my boy. Tell you what. I'll even increase your split for each piece. How's that sound? Sure. Sounds good. Take care of yourself when I'm not around. Same to you, boy. Stay safe out there. Alright, that's it. Done. This... You've never been fishing, but this made you want to try green onions as bait. I don't know. <laughs> Good luck. I'm not sure what to say. Here it is, the Kyoto Satsuma Consulate. I don't have to read. お役目ご苦労様に存じます。新選組3番隊隊長斉藤はじめだ。最後吉之助殿に取り継いでもらいたい。ほう。最後先生に土下座御用件で。坂本龍馬という男について聞きたいことだ。採用で、そういうはもう新選組の御用とあれば断る理由はごはん心得ました。おいがご案内します。どうぞこちらへ。あまな、I <笑> こいつらはどういうつもりだ。新選組っちゅうのは随分と人を切ってきました。ほんのこと言うと薩摩の門も多少身風呂に切られた門もおります。お半が薩摩の人間を切ったかはどうでもよか。じゃっとん。お花三番隊の隊長でごわす。兄弟や子らを新選組に切られた恨みを持つ門には、それだけで十分切る理由になります。弟の敵じゃ。身風呂めが、おいの息子ば切りよった。ああ、ボーイ。幕の犬め。花
Uh, yeah, I mean, look, Swordsman's got in no love whatsoever. It's time. I'm gonna use all my silver orbs on this. Hop away from your enemies and fire a quick shot. You'll dance, but they'll be the ones taking the bo the bow. Okay, there we go. the triangle move appear and I didn't press it quick enough. Alright, I'm gonna stop trying to do it. が新選組。最後に合わせてもらおうか。そうすりゃ、ここで会ったことはなかったことにしてやる。何？大っぴらにしたとこで困るのはあんたらだけだと思うがな。俺は仕事できたんだ。あんたも自分の仕事に専念する
だが俺を帰らせたきゃさっさと思い出すんだな<笑>そしたら斎藤がはっきり言いますわわしは坂本龍馬いう男と会うたことは一遍もないもうわしの答えはこれ以外に出てこんでなんで隠すんだその坂本龍馬ってのはあんたにとってそんなに重要な男か<笑>なれん駆け引きはやめとけあんたには似合わん坂本は長崎でイギリスの武器を仕入れているらしいその武器を買うのはあんたら薩摩ってことか知らん言うとりますやんか Please, I don't want to fight this guy again. <laughs> um, for context, his likeness, not, not literally this guy, but the guy, you know, he resembles one of the main bad guys in one of the other games. So I'll probably have to fight him at some point. That was no use. Damn. I guess I'll go back to the barracks for now. Nothing's really happened in this chapter. Well... Hold on. This guy. Never mind, we're gonna see the chief. Okay. Going to the brothel district. Kondo Asami, the head of the Tenen Rishin school, which means he'll have to know the man underneath the mask. I can finally meet him. This is my chance to settle everything once and for all. Now. It makes it sound like the end is near, but it, it is not. Not in the slightest. But we're about halfway. Given the percentage it's given me. Over here. Asahi, the Urete Kondo Zama is supposed to be in. It's possible I might have to kill him. Should I accept that and just go inside? Yes. Okay, here goes. That's basically a point of no return, but let's see. Who is he gonna be? That's what I wanna know. Smell of blood. Yo, I don't recognize the face. Kanban Tai Tai Chou, Saito Hajimetes. Stereon, Oregon Dandare. Anataga, Kyokchono. 
ああ新選組局長近藤勇だ I bet his face will turn up in a future game because I haven't played through all the other ones, so. He's probably like in five or six. So, you know, Sakamoto Ryoma. Hi. Sakamoto got over to you, Satsuma Hante, and he took him a star. I knew Saigo near Tobokeramasta. Man, so not to that or not. もともと最後には期待しちゃいなかったんだそれはどういう意味で坂本龍馬は今長崎に向かってるらしくてな本人が今日にいねえんだから薩摩もいくらだって知らきれる今最後に聞いたところでろくな返事はねえだろうよだからまあ何も情報をつかめなかったのはあんたのせいじゃないただでさえ本音を見せねえ最後の口割らせるな簡単なことじゃねえからなけど大収穫だいやあんたいい仕事したぜ斎藤さんよ俺がですかうんだってよ坂本龍馬について一つだけ確実なことが分かったんだからな薩摩の最後にあったその坂本龍馬ってのは真っ赤な偽物だだよなあおっしゃ本物の龍馬さんはい So he knows who we really are 一年前に吉田東洋暗殺の濡れ衣を着せられて脱藩その後天然離心流の使い手を追って京に潜伏その坂本龍馬って男が今のあんただだとすりゃ長崎で英国の武器商人と取引している坂本龍馬は偽物ってことになるだよなお話の意味が分かりかねます紹介力先に払わってやらねえとあんたも話しづれえやなまずは安心してくれていいあんたの正体は俺の胸にしまっておく okay. 先組としてあんたを粛清しようって話じゃねえそれだけは分かってくれ担当直入に言えよ俺はあんたの腕を高く買っててね別にあんたが坂本龍馬でも斎藤はじめでも構わねえんだただ俺のある計画に乗ってもらいてえとは思ってるある計画ああ日本の都を今日から江戸へ移す江戸セント計画だ江戸セント計画だ夢みたいな話だろだがこれは至って真面目な計画だこれはよ俺が最終的にこの日本を救う唯一の道だと信じているこの国を救うために肝心なのはな金の志士が目指す大規模な倒幕戦争を起こさせねえことだこのまま放っておきゃいずれ日本中を巻き込んだ倒幕戦争が起きるだが連中 I just looked this up and this actually happened like moving the capital to the where he's talking about イギリスと戦う力はもう残らねえ So I guess it's like loosely based on what happened in Japan not maybe not necessarily from the characters and people it's more just conceptually what happened with the capital Because, yeah, that became Tokyo. So, there you go. Hey, Messiah. 
Thank you so much for the uh, three months. How's it going? Caps. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not gonna yell. I feel like my voice is a little strained. そもそもこの国が金の音幕府にも属さない。政治とは別の存在にならなきゃならないって。別の存在。そもそもこの国が金の音幕府で I'm guessing this this whole thing is just trying to, I guess, retell the story of well, why the capital moved. That's all it is. だが朝廷がなくなり今日が焼ければ帝も致し方なく江戸へ移られるその時帝が住む江戸それを仕切る幕府に勤労志士どもが入り込む余地はねえ早い話日本って国の中枢を一ところに集めるんだよそれが一番
Suga. Okay, that. Really, it's all there is. Do you want to go back? 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 そうやって聞いてばかりで生きてきたんだろうこれまでもよだからあの時吉田東洋は言ったんだろうよお前が金納刀の筆頭にふさわしい男じゃない Plus, <笑>お前は今なんてなぜか、oh, I mean, <笑>あんたがあの覆面の男って言うなら話が早いここであんたを切れば新選組にいる理由もなくなるからな Are we actually gonna fight him? これは切ってみりゃいいま、天然理心流四代目宗家の俺を切れれば<笑> Yeah, the warrior emotes pretty good It comes from warrior land shake it The level select screen. Wait, what? Koitsunimiobuenga. <laughs> Oh boy. So, each name Brino Gisenda Kenshito Stejun Sweeney Korosia Yotanosima Setemora. Ikuzo Sakamoto. Ugh, this is gonna suck. My sword fighting's a lot stronger now, but I don't know. So where is this gonna go then, if we're taking care of the dude that killed... Dad? Heal. Alright, I have soup. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, you better believe I'm spamming this shit. Alright, that's how I'm gonna play it. Fight's gonna suck. <laughs> it's already difficult. Makes that noise when they eat rice. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't know if using fists here is gonna help a lot. Let's try. I'll try my best. Oh, 
It's not helping. I mean, I can do that, which is nice, like... But it's, it's just not worth it. Oh my god. I don't know if I got this one. I'm gonna have to go the cheese route. <laughs> Dude, not a single bullet hit. Oh, that, that worked. In the back. Special ammo does work pretty well. I will have to buy more of it. <laughs> if that's the effect it has on, like, taking out an insanely hard boss that easily. I have to make sure I have more of it. No, I'm in the corner! Shit! Out! Oh no. Oh. Good move. Uh oh. Jeez. That would have been death if I missed. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. Wait, wait! I need to eat my food! <laughs> Don't attack me! <laughs> Just sitting down for lunch in the middle of a fight. Oh, no, I blocked it. What the? What the fuck? What do you mean fire? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did he just do? What did I just witness? I don't know if I have any more. Oh. I don't know if I have any more special ammo. I have thunder rounds. All right, let's use them. Seem to work. <laughs> oh, 
I'm <laughs> sorry, the way that ended. Dude got electrocuted and then just shot in the face. たまにはまったく傷つくね。覆面の分からないことはすぐに人に聞いちまう。自分には学も教養もね。そう思って考えるのもやめちまう。だがな、親さんは誰にどうして殺されたのか。この答えだけはどうしても自分の力で見つけたいんだ。ガキだと言われてもかまわ
近藤は龍馬の腕を見込んで計画への加担を要求するその見返りは吉田東洋を暗殺したあの覆面の男の正体だが龍馬は決意する己のその手で覆面の素顔を暴き出すことを。Okay, well, I already know what this chapter is going to be about. Might get what I wanted, but we'll see. カラスがギャーギャーうるさくってな目が覚めちまったまあええわご飯できてるえコンドイサミは覆面の男ではなかった新選組の天然離心流の使い手は残り4人ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、I should head to the barracks to see if I can find anything new. We're not going to head to the barracks. Because <laughs> now there should be new side quests and stuff to do out in the world. So let's have a walk around town. Oh no, which way was it again? Hey, is something the matter? Oh, excuse me. I don't suppose you happen to know how to get to Fushimi Ichiban guy. I have to make a delivery. It's that way. Go straight past Teradaya. Turn right into the shopping district. You'll see it. Wow, was that close already? Ah,、oh, hell. Thank you, Samurai san. Wouldn't expect I'd have to give directions to a courier. Well, it's not far. He'll make it from here. He's not gonna make it. Wait, hello, what's this? Okay. No, this is not a side quest. Told them to turn right. Alright. He probably got lost. Oh crap, I'm being chased. Noodles! <laughs> Give me noodles, quick! Nah, it just means they won't chase me anymore. Wait, a new one? I say, you're back again. Thanks for coming. Mind if I ask your name? Sure. It's Saito. Saito san, huh? Well, appreciate your patronage. Been curious about that serious face of yours since last time. You eat like a man with a lot of his on his mind. I was worried you didn't like the udon, or it wasn't up to snuff, something along those lines. Not at all. Sorry to give you the wrong impression. <laughs> no need to say sorry, you've stopped by more than once, so I take it you like the food well enough. Yeah, the udon's here is great. Does my heart good to hear that. You have my thanks, Saito san. Hey, I know. Why don't we call this one on the house? My way of saying thanks to a new regular. Huh? Are you sure? Without a doubt. Nice to finally put a name to the face, too. So take it as a sign of our friendship. I'll be charging you next time, though. So keep that in mind. Alright. Sounds good. 
Right then, your order. What you're feeling? Hmm, let's see. Take your time. Our most popular item, starting from the cheapest, would be Tanuki Udon, Kitsune Udon, Tsukimi Udon, and finally Tempura Udon. Since it's on me, how about we go all in with the Tempura Udon? Really? Then yeah, I'll have that. My man, one Tempura Udon coming up. Oh, dude, I kind of want that. I love me a good, like, uh... Stir fry. Whether it's like with rice or noodles, it's good shit. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the chewy noodles pair with that light broth perfectly, and the tempura enhances the taste of the udon itself without sacrificing the delicate flavor. I'm getting this shit for lunch tomorrow. That's settled. <laughs> I'm going for a walk and I'm getting this, like, this, ex this exact thing. This exact thing I'm getting tomorrow. <laughs> Damn right, this Kyo Udo I'm talking about, after all. Hmm. I cook for myself sometimes, but I wouldn't be able to pull off something like this. I'd love to know your secret. My secret? Well, I might have an idea. Oh. Truth be told, it's all in the hips. Your hips? Like, when you're cooking the Udon? Not at all, I mean, yeah, that's important too, but I'm talking more about putting your back into it. More specifically, when kneading the noodles. If you ain't put in your back into it, it directly impacts the flavor. Makes sense. Right, that's why you gotta keep your legs and back nice and toned, even more so since you're still young, Saito-san. And how do you do that? Oh no, don't be asking me that kind of stuff. There's only one surefire way a man can work those muscles to the fullest. I tell you, my beloved Omi-chan and my, wait, I tell ya, my beloved Omi-chan and I sure knew how to get things cooking. Is he saying what I think he's saying? <laughs> I'm getting all hot and bothered just thinking about you. Yep, okay. Oh, yes! Oh, <laughs> uh, how, how old am I? Just, just checking. Um... You got to go at it like this, uh, and then, ah, uh, and sometimes you got to switch it up to a different angle. Yeah. Hi. Ow, ow, ow. What happened? <laughs> My back. <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, ow. Wait, you threw out your back? Probably should take it easy with uh, your little demonstration. We have to get you to a doctor. No, no, I, I, I can't leave right now. Customers hit this place like a mudslide about this time. Just another day in what I call Kyo's great udon system. Udon ecosystem? This is the time of day we pull the most business. I can't afford to miss it. Mother of... Ugh. But my freaking back? Like this? There's no way I can dish out the udon. I know. Saito-san, you think you could lend this place a hand? Me? I'll boil up the noodles in the back and Saito-san, I want you to distribute them to the customers. All you gotta do is put the toppings on according to the customer's orders and hand them out. Like throwing some fried bean curd on top of... on top for Katsuni Udon or an egg for Tsukimi Udon and so on. Please Saito-san, I'm begging you. I'll even pay. Look, I really don't think I'm qualified. Well, if I close up shop now, my business is gonna tank and tank hard. And what's worse, I can't even begin to tell you the disappointment I'll get from my customers. Hmm, he did treat me to Udon today. I should help him out a bit. Alright. I don't know how much the help I'll be, but count me in. Really? Ah, oh, thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. Hey, boss man, there's four of us. That's a, that okay? Uh, sure thing. One sec. I'm getting ready to open up. I mean, fair enough, that's one way to get exercise, I suppose. Also, this outfit is great. Okay, Saito-san, here they come. Like the eternal cycle of life and death, customers and orders just keep popping up. It's a noodly force of nature, I tell you. So I just have to match the toppings to the orders and hand them out. Easy, huh? Just be as quick as you can, otherwise you'll risk ruining that all-important chew factor. 
I'll put our sales goal at three Rio. Give him hell, Saito-san. Oh my god. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a mini game. Dude, this is going to be the thumbnail. Memorize the customer's desired dishes and serve them up fast. Once orders are in, press the corresponding Fuck, it's a mini game! <laughs> in the or in press the corresponding buttons in the same sequence before the time runs out. Pressing L1 issues a chef recommendation to the house, unifying a round of orders to a single type. Once per shift. Unless you fail the round of recommended orders. Okay. Tempura, Kitsune. Okay. Jeez. And a recommendation. All right. Oh my god, that food looks so good. Okay. Got it. All right, this isn't too bad. X, X, circle, 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 circle. It's not rhythm, it's just like, do the combo quickly. X circle, X circle, X circle, X circle, okay. Oh, man, I want, I want all of that, all of that, just all of that right there. Look at how good that looks. Fuck. Damn it. I missed. I'm trying to go re recommended. Do the recommended. Tempura. 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 <laughs> Skip grade. Okay, there we go. Square triangle, triangle. Oh god. Okay. Damn it. Ugh, I fucked up. It was triangle square. I'm going the recommended. Jeez, I still have so long to go. It's so late at night, like, I have to remember this shit. A memory game at 2 in the morning, fuck. Okay. Ah, fuck. This is it. I'm down. I got 2.4. I got good. I didn't finish the target goal. Saito san, not bad, not bad. I was watching you from the back, and, well, gotta say, it was a real sight to behold. Well, that's good, I guess. But, uh, is your back okay? What's that? Huh, my, my back? My back? Uh, hmm. Wait, huh? Guess watching you give it your all must have sat me out of it. <laughs> right. You really saved my hide. Here's your pay. 10% of the sales. Think you could help me out from time to time? I'm sure you'll get better from here. Sure. I'll see you later. Stop by for some udon sometime. I will definitely do more of this mini game, just not today. <laughs> I 
I can't believe that was a mini game as well. Oh, but that all of all of that food looks so good. I'm I'm getting something along those lines tomorrow. That's for sure. I guess that courier made it, huh? Let me look at the side stories. Hmm. Okay. I thought I'd run into him again, but I guess not, huh? Oh wait, no, that's him, isn't it? That's the fish market. Um, we've got it. I want to try cooking some of these more intricate things. Father. Oh, So, I mean, if you combine all the minigames in in this, yes, including the brothel one, you can make a farming sim game out of this. Like, you have your farming, you have your cooking, you have two kinds of cooking, actually. You have, like, your home cooking and then, like, a place of business cooking. You also have a minigame for love. <laughs> Just whenever you want to, like, uh... Marry someone in the farming sim, you just play the game that you play at the brothel, you know? You have a drinking game, then you play rock, paper, scissors, and then, um... Shoot the love heart. With your, uh, your cannon. The fuck? There. I want to throw him into the little... Did I beat that one? I did. I haven't gone back since. I'll go back. I should probably r wrap it up anyway, but I'll do that at the very least. Uh, we are going to... here. Alright. Yeah, hang on. Before we do that... I want to see if they actually, like... If this is a real thing. Okay, maybe not. But like, that comically large bowl that um, you could probably serve soup for a family of three in. Like... Anyway. It's so expensive to play this mini game. Okay. Oh! Oh, because I've been in the- okay. So I can just jump to straight to it, but we'll do the whole thing. Why not? <laughs> Gotta go the whole experience. I am tired. <laughs> なら、今日は元気にしてあげちゃいますね。よろしく頼むぞ。そうだ。お酒でも飲みましょう。お客さん、<笑> 
今日はどれくらい飲まれますケペカメン<笑>今日はわかりました準備します、はあ、うまいなまだまだいけそうだそうだどうですまた飲み比べでもお前も好きだな手加減はしないぞ望むところです Okay. Just, just look at how comically large this is. Maybe because it's just like easier to drink a large amount that quickly, easily. Maybe this is this is a very smart thing. Like, just think about it. Instead of it might be just a very easy way to drink a lot of、uh, alcohol quickly. It's, it's just the up and down motion as well. Ugh, that's funny. Well, then, we'll make it. Yeah, I should put the soup that I cooked in it. Oh, boy, boy, eh? I just said I just win now. I barely just won the the next section, but I did win. <laughs> it gets really it gets really difficult. Alright, wish me luck. The shoot 'em up aspect.
Ooh, that almost hit me. Oh, crap, it hit me. Uh-oh, that's not good. I've already wasted a life. Okay. I just need to make sure I don't mess this up. <laughs> Man. If you, if you were to ask me at the start of every time I start playing a game in the series, just like, to guess one of the mini games I'm going to play, I just, I'd never be able to do it. Oh, I might lose. 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 Oh, no, I got it. Oh. Enjoy. <laughs> Just barely. I'm the best. Oh, no, you know what? There's like a maximum friendship with her. There's probably something else afterwards by the looks of it. But, oh, man. It's just going to take forever to get that. All right. Well, I want to get to a spot where you can see him better. Um, hey, this is where I'm going to leave it for today, chat. I need to get some sleep. But I do hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday, so don't expect anything. I don't plan on anything, but if I am feeling like it, I might do something. So, But otherwise, uh, yeah, Wednesday, we'll continue this and... Other stuff, I'm sure. So, thank you for sticking around to the end if you're watching later on YouTube. Uh, and consider clicking the buttons and stuff for algorithm purposes if you want to support the channel. Uh, thanks to those that have been doing that.